G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. It's Jesse here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing yet another AFL quiz. The quiz that I'll be doing in today's video is actually one based on the whole AFL 2019 season. There's 100 questions, so it's pretty all-encompassing. Now, if this quiz looks or sounds familiar to you so far, there's a reason for that. I was actually on Cardman22's channel Earlier today, he was doing this exact quiz, the 2019 AFL season recap video. As I was watching the video, I stopped because I realized this is actually a sick quiz to do for True Footy as well. So I didn't get as far as seeing the answers he provided. I shot him a message on Instagram and asked him, mate, do you mind if I do this quiz for my channel as well? So it doesn't look like I'm stealing content. Um, Go check out his channel while you're at it. He has a great um, up and coming uh, AFL channel um, and he's been kind enough to let me have a crack at this quiz today as well. I also do need to give a shout out to the person who made this sporkle and it was a user called Tiger Rocket. So I don't know if you're watching, but anyway, thanks for making this quiz because it is a sick idea. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get into it. A uh, hundred questions, I've got 20 minutes. I probably won't take that long and it looks like it's multiple choice as well. So let's have a crack. Okay, first question. At the MVP award, who was voted best captain? Um, okay, we got Penelbury, Selwood, Cochin, and Hearn. Uh, I'm going to say Shannon Hearn from memory because uh, a few people were miffed he didn't get All-Australian captain over here in Perth and Fife on it, but uh, I remember he did get that award to sort of make up for it. For the record, I didn't actually care that he didn't get All-Australian captain. Uh, GWS best and fairest, this was Taranto. I remember being really surprised by that considering how young he is. Which club did Caleb Graham play for in 2019? Caleb Graham. It doesn't ring a bell. Uh, St. Kilda. No, it was a Gold Coast. Yes, okay. Forgive me for not knowing all of Gold Coast playing list. Which club did Chankuth Jiath play for? I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, but I don't know how, do know who he is. He's, uh, he's tipped as one of their breakout players this year, they reckon, at Hawthorne. Which coach was first to be sacked? Um... It was Brad Scott out of these, I think, or Bolton. I can't remember. I think it was Scott. Yes, got that right. Sweet. Which player had 53 kicks, free kicks, and had the most free kicks? Um, Grundy, Walters, Fife, or Danger? I want to say Danger. No, nope, not a great start so far. Which player had the most tackles in 2019? It's out of steel in Yo. I've got a memory that it was my boy Elliot Yo from the Eagles. Yes. This one's another easy one. Francis Watson is an Eagles player, so I'll choose him. Which Fremantle player won their best and fairest? He also won the Brownlow medal. Sometimes the Brownlow medalist doesn't win the best and fairest. I think it was five. Yeah, it was. Which team won the AFL X competition this year? I have absolutely no idea. I'm going to say Bolts. It wasn't. It was Rampage. Don't even remember who was on that team. I think it was the green one. St. Kilda, best and fairest. We got Billings, Ross, Steele, or Marshall. They all had a great season. I think it was Ross. It was. Most free kicks paid against them. I'm pretty sure this was Mumford. Interesting, they're all Ruckman. That makes sense. Carlton, leading goal kicker. Um, it was Kerno or Mackay. I'm going to say Kerno. No, Mackay. All right, a few wrong so far. Which, who captained Richmond in round four in their win over Port Adelaide? Was it Shane Edwards? It was, good, that was a bit of a guess, that one. Margin of the 2019 grand final was 89 points. AFLW, I wanna say the Crows, bit of a guess, I can't remember, it was that long ago. I think they won that. They've won two flags, I wanna say. Which player had the most kicks in 2017? I presume that's meant to be 2019. I think it was Tom Stewart or Jake Lloyd. I'm gonna say Jake Lloyd. Nope, Tom Stewart should have backed my instincts. Which player won the best and fairest for Richmond? I remember it was Prestia because it was a little bit of a surprise, but he did have a fantastic year. The Sandville grand final was between, I know that Port Adelaide lost it. Oh, was it Norwood or Glenelg? I think it was Norwood. Ah, it was Glenelg. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back. Swan's three co-captains were, it wasn't McVeigh, it was Josh Kennedy, Parker, and Rampy. There we go. Who became second in North Smith medal was Marlene Pickett. Yes, because, oh no, fuck, it wasn't. <laughs> that was kind of, okay, got cocky there. Which player won the coach's award for best player? This was Bont, I remember that was particularly interesting. That's probably the best award we have actually, I reckon, the coach's votes. Which player was injured during the prelim for Richmond and missed the grand final? That was, of course, Jack Graham. Mitch Hinge played for Brisbane, yes. Richmond won the VFL grand final because they did the double. 
Which club has the longest drought of not playing in a final? Fremantle 2015, Carlton, was that 2013? Port Adelaide 2014, so I think it was St Kilda, yeah, good. Which player won the best and fairest at Port in 2019? Surely Boke, it was. The only team to defeat Geelong in Geelong was GWS. Which player won the best and fairest for Sydney? Was it Rampy? Yes, good. All right, so I've answered 22 out of 29 so far, and I'm four minutes in. Who was picked two after Sam Walsh? That was Lacocious. Brisbane best and fairest, was it Neil? Yeah, that makes sense. Collingwood best and fairest was... I want to say it was Grundy. Yeah, good guess. <laughs> 188 most marks. Yes, that was Shepard. Yep, I remember that. So the Eagles had the most tackles and marks. So, you know, give us the premiership. Brandon Zirk Thatcher. I don't know much about him, but he's highly rated at Essendon internally, I think. Who coached Fremantle in the last game? It was uh, David Hale as caretaker. The Waffle Grand Final was won by Subiaco. That's easy for me being a local boy. Oh, how many goals did Western Bulldogs kick against Essendon in round 21? It was 21. It's ridiculous, that game. Who was on top of the ladder after round one? From memory, it was GWS because they annihilated Essendon. Yep. Essendon, best and fairest was Merritt. Which club, apart from the three newest ones, has the longest premiership drought? It is Melbourne. I think it was 1954. St Kilda won in 66. Bulldogs, best and fairest was Bond, wasn't it? Yeah, good. Ryan Gardner, Bulldogs. Who came second to Sam Walsh? That was Connor Rosie in the Rising Star. Sydney's leading goal kicker, Papley. That was a bit of a guess. I'm glad I got that one right. One goal, 8-14. Who kicked the lowest score this year? North Melbourne against Geelong. Second to Brownlow medal was Danger. Jack Magden plays for Collingwood. Don't know much about him, but I know the name. I'm starting to build a bit of momentum here, guys. Which player won the Carlton Best and Ferris? Surely Cripps. Yeah, cool. Bulldogs leading goal kicker. Was it Norton? Damn, it was Sam Lloyd. Which player won the Gary Ayres medal for best player in the finals? That was Dusty. Joel Garner from Port Adelaide. Not the West Indies, which is a uh, common misconception. Which player kicked the winning goal for GWS against Brisbane in that final? That was Brent Daniels. All Australian captain in 2019 was Fife. As I said before, people in WA all freaked out about that. I think it's fair enough. Curtis Taylor is from North Melbourne. Hasn't played a game yet, I believe. Co-captain with Ollie Wines was Tom Jonas, but I think Tom Jonas is outright captain now. Is that right? Callum Coleman-Jones was from Richmond. Darcy Fort. Plays for Geelong. Because he was on my fantasy bench all season without cracking a game. At least I don't think he cracked a game. He might have cracked one late, I don't know. Which umpire? Umpired his 500th game. Oh god. Was it Stevic? No, it was McInerney. <laughs> Which ground saw snow this year? Canberra. So I'm 50 out of 59 so far. With 12 minutes to go. Melbourne leading goal kicker. I think it was Petrarca. Yep. Robbie Young plays for... God knows. St Kilda? Yeah, that was a guess. Best and fairest for the Eagles was Luke Shuey. Mark of the year, Liam Ryan. I'll keep the Eagles ones coming. They're easy. Essendon leading goal kick. Yeah, was it Tipping Woody? No, oh, Stringer. Damn. Who kicked the highest score this year? I want to say Adelaide against Gold Coast. That 151. Yeah. Port leading goal kicker was Rosie. Which is ridiculous. Best on ground for Richmond, Essendon, Dreamtime. Was it Shane Edwards? No, it was Bashar Hooli. Vaguely remember that. It's testing my memory now. Gold Coast best and fairest was Wits. Yes. Which player in 2019 with 122 has played the most games consecutively? Was it Jack Crisp? Yeah, I remember something about that. Which player kicked the most goals? 10 in the game. I feel like that was Ben Brown. Angus Schumacher plays for Carlton. Which team has won a final in the last four years? That was GWS. Who kicked a very inaccurate score of two goals, 19-31. Ooh. Fremantle against West Coast. That was in the Derby. Which 2019 player that played this year has played the most games without playing in a final? 
Hanley, Nunes, Rockliffe, and Watts. Ugh, is, well, who's the oldest? I think Rockliffe is. But is he played a final? No, I said Jack Watts. That was a bad guess. K Chandler. I literally have no idea who that is. Oh, no, no, Melbourne, right? I vaguely remember that. Was he... Yeah, did he crack a game? I can't remember. I feel like that, I remember that name from fantasy. Which city did not host an AFL match? Ballarat, Shanghai, Townsville, or Wellington? Definitely the Wellington did not. Which player won AFL W Player of the Year? Was it Aaron Phillips? That's the only one I can really remember. Uh, that was a lucky guess. Which current players play the most games without kicking a goal? Tom, oh, lucky Plowman. Nah, Colin Jasney. I would never have guessed that. Which current player has played the most finals? That's Burgoyne. Who won Adelaide's best and fairest? It was Brad Crouch. Which player had a season high game of 51 disposals? I think that was Lockie Neal against Richmond. Ben, is this the grand final sprint? Yes, it was Ben King. Clayton, Clayton Oliver even run? I can't even remember. Which umpire was not one of the three umpires in the 2019 grand final? <laughs> Sean Ryan, no, nah, Simon Merritt. I don't know umpire trivia, all right? Uh, Lee Matthews MVP player of the year was Paddy Cripps. We really did have a real even distribution of winners this year. We had Fife win the Brownlow, Cripps win the MVP, and Bont win the Coaches Award, interesting. Who kicked the first goal in the 2019 Grand Final? It was Jezza Cameron. Fuck, it was like the last goal for so long, I think. Which Geelong player won the best and fairest? Was it Danger? It was. Zach Sproul plays for GWS. Which club has the longest drought of winning a final? Essendon, wasn't it? 2002? They beat West Coast. Who won the best and fairest at North Melbourne? It was Cunnington. I mean, that was an educated guess, I don't remember, but I, he, he played awesome. Eddie bets one goal of the year. Collingwood leading goal kicker, was it Myacek? Yes. Who was the most courageous? That was Dylan Grimes. Last team to win a match in 2019. Did North Melbourne beat Melbourne? No, Carlton won off. I don't even remember that game. Ben Davis. Collingwood. No, Adelaide. Oh, crashing and burning. Six questions here. Can I get to 84? Which player won the Hawthorne best and fairest? It was Warpaw. I remember because he and Taranto were both really young to win it. Justin McInerney plays for Sydney. Hugh Dixon played for Fremantle. Who won the Anzac Day medal? It was Pendlebury because he got booed. Two questions left. Which player with Max Gorn shared Melbourne's best and fairest? Harms? Damn, I was going to say Oliver. Changed my mind. Who was the number one pick in the mid-season draft? That was Josh DeLuca to Carlton. And I still remember thinking that was pointless because they just delisted him. Anyway, I'll take that. 83%. That's not bad. Um, average score of 58%, so I'll take that. So I did it in 12 minutes as well. That was really fun. So thank you to the guy who made it. Also, again, thank you to Cardman22 for being cool about me, just blatantly doing the same quiz he did. I do have to say, I'm really enjoying the AFL quiz thing. It's kind of like how Tier Maker took off, like, halfway through last year. So if you guys want to flick a sporkles or quizzes or even tier makers, send them my way because it's really good off-season content because we're still waiting a little bit longer for football to start. We do have like, how long is it? Like a month and a half until uh, that char charity bushfire game and then the preseason starts in earnest. So um, yeah, so go ahead and send us some links. In terms of other content, guys, I'm currently working on a documentary for Adam Simpson and the West Coast Eagles. Not for him, just about him uh, as a little passion project. So that is something that I'm just doing in the background in between making videos week to week. That one's going to take a little bit longer because I really want to make a really good job of it. But anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in to another True Footy video. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all very soon somewhere on YouTube. Cheers.